Well, hello there and greetings to you. It is Matthew MacDonald here and welcome to this video where we're going to take a tour of the new agency developer tools in our WordPress plugin. Now I'm going to be looking at the Miracle Links, which is the latest tool at the time of recording this that has the brand new agency developer tools which now has access control and a couple of extra cool features for people that have online clients or offline clients and you manage your website for their clients you like have an agency that you're running then you're going to find these new tools hopefully very handy. So let's take a look at those and let's walk through actually how to activate the branding. Just quickly, the branding is designed for your own business branding so that you can actually have your own product line. I want you to get to the place where if you have if you've done the hard work, you've come up with a business name, maybe you've built a brand, you've been doing it for many, many years and people know your brand. Well, you can enforce that brand. You can confirm that brand and take it to the next level by having your own branded product line. So when people are actually using the tools and services that you offer, then your branding will be reinforced. Now you could use these tools to come up with a complete different name for the tool to make it unique so that the people using the tool are not going to go to your competitors or they're not going to come to me for the same tool. It's going to be different name. But just think about your business branding when I show you these new tools and think about how you could utilize this in your own business. So we're on my desktop here and we are logged into WordPress admin. What I've actually done to demonstrate this is I'm logged in with two different users. So under the users here in the WordPress admin, we've got admin here. Now that's me. I'm a super user, a super admin. So I'm going to have access to all the different tools inside of the WordPress admin. Now I have a client here and I've just given it a name here, James Bond. And James Bond is my client and I'm basically managing this website for them. But James Bond also has access to login to this admin area. They might have a different role. Let's actually look at this. I think I already changed this. So we've got them as admin. Let's just put them as editor. You can have them as administrator also. So you don't have to downgrade your client in order to do what I'm doing. But it just demonstrates what demonstrates what I'm trying to uh, trying to show here better if I just downgrade my client in this example. So I'm going to save them here. Now they're an editor and that'll make sense to you as we go along. So here we go. We've got two users. We've got admin, which is myself. I am the agency that manages this website for my client. Then I've actually set up access to my client so they can log in. They can create posts and pages. And a lot of people like to do that. Yes, some people are completely hands off, but many clients out there like to be able to log in and edit their own website. Now on the right hand side here, I'm logged in in incognito as the client. So I've used the client login details to log in. And at the moment we can see we've got miracle links here. We're going to brand this tool with our own business details and you would be branding it with your own business details. So when your client uses this tool, they don't see Matthew McDonald branding. They will see your branding. All right, so before we do that, let's go back to the admin here. So this is me logged in. I'm going to Miracle Links here. I've got the developer, agency developer package license installed, and I've got the branding tabs, which, which I can see here. Now, this is Miracle Links version 1.0.7. So if you're following along, make sure you're up to date with your Miracle Links. Anything newer than that, obviously, is going to be fine. Let's go to the branding tab, and from here, we can just fill out a little 
two-minute form or even a one-minute form with the branding options and the access options. Set our branding color and we're done. Then we can let our customer log into the branded experience. And now we've got our own in-house product line that we're extending that branding to our client. So let's actually walk through this and do it here in real time. I'm typing in mailer links here and what we can first do is let's just go ahead and toggle on active so we get a preview here and you can see I've already been playing around in here so let me just clear these fields so that we have the same starting place starting from zero and you can see up the top here we've got mailer link so as I'm typing this we can see it changing up the top. So I'm actually getting a real live preview of what this app is going to look like. Now, the minute we toggle it on for the first time, you're going to get that uh, WordPress blue color that you see here in the menu and throughout the WordPress. So if you like that, you want to use a more of an integrated color with WordPress, you can just leave it as it is. But I would recommend using your brand color. So if you forgot what your brand color is, then go and have a look at your home page and remind yourself of all the work that you've done and utilize that work that you've done to keep building on it. So we're doing mailer light mailer links here that could even be one word for instance and then we would go with the the green would we would do something like this to match the green with the branding so anybody without any experiencing without any experience in actually making plugins or designing things or using complex Photoshop tools and these sort of things can actually come here and create a very unique look and feel of this tool and extend that branded experience to their client. So here you can see now the color is taking effect and if we look at the actual fields here you can see the branding it's, it's not just the top bar here it's going out throughout the whole app. So when I click in here you can see that green branding is happening. You can see it here on the switch as well and on the save button and if you were to change that branding to go with your own business you can see it's as easy as sliding this around. Now you might have the exact hex value of your branding, then go ahead and pop it in there. All right, let's add a label here. Now, depending on your mailer links, mailer links, I'm already calling it. See how powerful this branding is? I'm already calling it something else. Miracle links here. Uh, you can put a, a branding label. So let's go something like deluxe. And the reason you would do this, let's say if you have the premium pro also for the miracle links, then you've got the option down here under the access panel. We'll do that in a moment to choose whether you want to add these additional tools to your client. So you can have more than one package that you offer your clients. You might have an entry level package and a deluxe package. Maybe that goes together with a video service or a website or maybe a lead generating service for your client. So you've got that option there. Menu title, so down the side here we can see in the WordPress menu we've got miracle links. You need to put something here. You can put the same word here. The reason I've kind of added an extra field here is if you have a really long title for your branded application, you can put a shorter version of it down the side here so you don't have the text stacking and taking up any extra space. Then we've got our unique URL slug, so you can basically just type in here so let's go mailer light mailer links and when I get out of that field you can see it just converts it into a slug what's important here is this needs to be unique it can't be anything that would interfere with other applications or plugins in your WordPress admin. So make sure it's not too short. Keep it at least 10 characters. Go for 20 characters 
and that way you you keep yourself out of trouble. Now the reason we have this branding slug option is that when you actually activate the branding and we go ahead and save changes, this branding is actually extended to the URL. So up the top here, if we look at the URL, we've got admin.php question mark page is miracle links. And then we've got the forward details here. So with the branding, you can actually brand this part, this miracle links with your own URL slug. And that's what you put in here. Once again, that needs to be unique. Let's put in the logo here and I'm just copying from the side here. I've got one in my media library and you can see that looks pretty cool. Just pasting that in there. You can see now we've got a mailer light up here for a logo. Obviously, you're not going to be using MailerLite. I'm just using this as an example. And since we've got the text here in the logo, we can actually take that away, which might even look better. I will leave it in there for now. Chances are you're probably going to have a graphical image without the text, and then, then you want to have both available, but you do have that option available to you. You've also got a logo link. Now, this is not a normal link, but you would link your business website there if you want. Basically, when the your client is using the app, they've got a home button here, but if they click your logo, they will also go to the home page of this application. But if you put a link in here, then it will open up a new window and send them to your website or send them to whatever link you have going on. So you've got the link option here. You can leave it blank or you can put something in there. So that's all the branding features with just a couple of types and clicks. We're all set up with a nice branded app that we can now extend that service to our clients and reinforce our own business branding. Let's continue through to the access options. If you have any add-ons for this particular plugin, like the Premium Pro version and the Avatar add-on, then you can pass those on to your clients or then you can leave them out. That's totally up to you. So you control that from here. Then we've got the application access. Now this is basically you saying who has access to this application who's going to be using it and from here we can just go and select let's just have a i will save changes here and we will just quickly go over to the users options and our client here is an editor so we want to make sure that editors have access to this tool let's go back into our new branded app and you can see as we switched around this side url or oh, this side title here, menu title changed as well. So let's go to application access and we're going to choose editor there. We want the editor to have access to this application. If they don't have access to the application, it's not even going to show up in the menu. Then we have the branding access. So from here we can choose who has access to the branding tool. So at the moment we're inside the branding tools. If you have staff that are taking care of your a client's website, then you could have their access level here, administrator, for instance, and they can log in here and deal with the branding. I'm going to leave this option off or then I would just put it on administrator. You've also got the hide plugin option, which is brand new to this new edition of the agency developer version. And with the hide plugins, if they have access to the plugins page, then the plugin will be hidden from them. So they won't see the Miracle Links plugin. They won't see my plugin on the plugins page. So let's save those changes and we're going to head over to the client here. And we haven't actually refreshed the page yet, so we're not seeing the branding here. So let me do that. I'm going to refresh the page here. And now instead of Miracle Links, we can see Mailer Links. So let's go ahead and click that and have a look at what that experience is like for our client. So here we can see the business branding straight away, which is crazy awesome. We don't have access to the branding. They can basically log in here and they can get started with this application. And all they see is your business branding. And every time they log in here 
and use this tool, you are reinforcing that business branding and uh, and it's really contributing to your branding efforts. Now, just a side note to be aware of, if you were to have, let me just go ahead and deactivate this save changes, you'll notice the page actually redirects when we disable it here because the URL changes. So if we're on the client side and we are testing this out and you get something like this that says, sorry, you are not allowed to access this page, well, if you look at the URL here, we've got the branded URL in place and at the moment the branding is not active. So if we were to take this away and let's just go to the admin home here, you can see with the branding disabled, we have access to the Miracle Links here and with the correct URL here, we've got Miracle Links branding. The same is true the other way. So if you're testing this out and you're on the Miracle Links here, in the client area and you go ahead and activate the branding save changes, that page is actually changed its URL. So if you were to come here and refresh that page, you'll say, you'll see, sorry, you are not allowed to access this page because the URL has changed. So there we go. That's the agency developer package for Miracle Links. As I mentioned earlier, this is a brand new build with the branding tools, we've kind of come a long way in the last 10 or so years when I've been making the branded versions. And so now you've got something really nice that you can use to extend your business branding to your clients. Now this requires the agency developer package with the Miracle Links plugin, and we're gonna be seeing this branding tool in upcoming products as well. So that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in another video very soon. Cheers.